In today's Photoshop store, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to create this soft shadow effect that a lot of people have been using and a lot of people ask me to do a tutorial on. It's really easy and it's really nice. Um, a lot of the people have been using it and wanting to use it as logos. So um, I thought I'd do it as a tutorial. It's really easy and it takes only about a couple layers to make. So um, yeah, let's jump into it. So file new with 1280 by 720. Hit OK. I'm gonna unlock the background layer and we're gonna make the color a light pink. So we're gonna pick a color overlay. And the color we're going to be using is hashtag F24949 and hit OK and OK. We're going to close the layer effects and we're going to call this background so we can keep control of our layers and know what is what. Um, the next thing we're going to do is add a font or a text. Um, the text I'm going to be using is VAL or VAL. You guys can download this for free at thefont.com. Link will be in the description if you guys go download it, it's free font. Um, but we're just going to use S, just like we did before on the other one. So just center it up, and what we're going to do is we're going to call this our main text. Keep track of things. Double click on it, and we're going to go to beveled and emboss. Click that, and we're going to change the depth to 700. Change the size to 7, and change the soften to 4. Um, turn off global light and shading and in highlight mode we're going to change the um, color to a light black like so hit ok and we're going to change the opacity for that to 6 and the opacity on shadow mode to 12 and that's it for beveled and embossed and what we want to do is we want to go down here to contour and we're going to bring the range to 96 97 and we'll do 96 and keep that as it is and the next thing we want to do is we want to go down here to our stroke and the color we're going to be using is our background color so it's again hashtag F24949 hit OK and that's good for now and then we're going to add a gradient and Rating colors we're going to be using are a light pink, so they are hashtag F48383. Hit OK, and we're going to do the same thing. And this color is going to be hashtag F2ACAC, and uh, hit OK. Actually, I'm going to bring down the intensity on this color right here, it's a little too bright. And uh, that's looking good. Um, actually, I'm gonna turn, I'm gonna make this a little bit lighter. There we go. And do the same for this one. I mean, this is just all at the preference on what you guys want. Um, so yeah, we're gonna bring the scale um, to 110 and uh, bring the angle to 95, like so. And uh, that's looking good so I mean that's it for just the font itself right now hit OK and we're going to close the layer effects um, we're going to duplicate our layer hit OK and make sure we call this uh, we'll keep this copy but we're going to turn off the layer effects so we're going to grab this FX thing here and we're going to drag it down here to our tool, uh, I don't know, trash bin um, so for this this is a really simple part and this is where our 3D uh, part is coming into play. So we'll go to color overlay and the color we're going to be using is hashtag D03636 Hit OK, OK and what we're going to do is we're just going to move, we're going to bring this below our main text, I forgot to do that first and we're going to move it out like so and bring it down like that um, and we're going to Duplicate now depending on how far you want the shadow you can duplicate it I mean right now it looks fine, but we're going to duplicate a little bit more and add um, More I don't know more shadow to it. I guess so to duplicate We're going to go to our layer hold alt and push down on the arrow key. We're going to do that three times No, we'll do it four times and uh, So for we'll go down to our copy number two go down two to the right two and do the same thing down two to the right two and 
down two to the right two. And let me make sure it's all lined up perfect. And uh, that's looking pretty good. Now I added a little bit more. Oh wait, that's no, about the same. Um, more depth to it. Um, but this is all at the preference. I mean, you can um, add more depth so um, the shadow goes off the screen at looking like the text is like shooting out from somewhere. Um, but you know, you could pretty much mess around with this however you want. Um, but like I said, this was really easy. But I just noticed something that we should fix on this stroke. We're gonna go back to our main text, and which is right here, and we're gonna bring the stroke. I forgot we had to bring the stroke up to about six, and actually no, we'll bring it up to eight. There you go. So that actually adds more of a nice effect there. Uh, adds more like a I don't know bevel or stroke to it. it. I don't know. Just makes it look nicer.